Hello and welcome. Today I want to take a look at NDI and the bandwidth. There are a lot of questions in the forums regarding bandwidth and it sounds just too easy to take your encoder, connect it to your existing gigabit infrastructure and enjoy video on the network. So um, let's have a look at the network side of things. And uh, I have three test devices, so one wireless, two wired. So um, let's jump in. Okay, let's talk about the setup. We have the Microtik Cloud Router switch. We have the Netgear PoE switch. And we have the Ruckus R310 as a Wi-Fi access point. Okay, let's see how they are connected. So we have the computer connected on port 16. We have the switch connected on port 9. And from the switch, we use the PoE output to power the access point. Let's start with the wireless device. I have a new tech Connect Spark for you. I have to admit, it was the first NDI device I ever bought. And I couldn't find it on the website anymore. So might be end of life, might be just taken away from the website. I don't know, to be honest, I haven't checked with new tech. But it is my only wireless device, so that's the reason why I choose it. So let's have a look at the network side. Okay, I have everything connected now. You see I'm checking the camera and that's the NDI signal from the Spark, but let's focus on the network side of things. You see the Winbox application. Um, I'm opening port 9. You see it already, it's roughly 3 megabit per second, but here you see it in a more graphical um, view, historical graphical view. So the Connect Spark is set to the lowest um, setting. It has three steps, low, medium, high, and currently we see 3 megabits in the low bandwidth setting. Let me switch it to medium. So we see um, roughly six, six and a half, up to seven megabit per second now on medium bandwidth. And on the high, we see uh, 10, 11. So I would say, um, yeah, hard to say, it varies a little bit um, between 10 and 12, I would say, um, to expect. So this gives you a rough idea um, what this device is sending. This is a, an ideal setup. As I said, it's just the access point is exclusively for the Connect Spark and they are a meter apart from each other, so are very close, nothing else in the Wi-Fi network. So um, optimal setup, I would say. Next on the list is the Bird Dog Studio. I will use the same camera to make it fair, but this time the, the Bird Dog Studio is a wired encoder. I have everything connected to the bird dock now, so this is a camera signal and let's check the bandwidth side. Currently we see 80 megabits and the bird dock has um, a bandwidth slider. It goes from 80 to 250 if you set it to manual. And let's increase it now to 250. So we should see an increase now. Okay, it's getting up a little bit, but it seems to max out at 150, 145 uh, roughly. So the setting is now 250 in the Bird Dog Studio. 
but it does not get there. So I don't know, um, must be a limit from the encoder. Um, I can shake the camera a little bit on the signal. But um, this does not change anything in the bandwidth. So we see no peak or no um, spike there from, from the recent action. Okay. Um, another one. So this is something, I don't know. Um, I would expect 250 if I set it manually to 250. Should send 250, but it doesn't. There's another one. Um, you can set the bandwidth to NDI managed. So this is um, you, you leave it to NDI um, to manage the bandwidth and, and control the bandwidth automatically. And you see if you use the NDI managed, it defaults to 120 megabit. Um, so that's the NDI coming from the bird dog. Let's check the final candidate. It's the bird dog P200 and I will connect it and let's check on the network again. The P200 is connected to port 6 and I set it to manually and to 80 megabits but it's producing 90, 95 megabits per second. Interestingly, this slider goes up to 180 and not 250. I set it now to 180 and we see the bandwidth goes up ex expected to 180 megabit per second. And typically, if you select NDI managed, I would expect 120 again. Um, that's at least what BirdDog says. And yeah, we had 130 something, 130-ish, I would say. Okay, that's the bird dog P200 now. One last one I want to show you how easy it is to max out a gigabit network. I mean, I'm connected now with a 10 gigabit, so I, I don't have concerns. Um, but if you take a look at my computer, you see 850, 870, 60 um, megabit per second now with just three sources. So what have I done uh, to get it to, to fill up the gigabit um, easily? First of all, I've um, set the, all the encoders to max bandwidth. Um, and I've opened the camera three times and the studio two times. So um, all the sources are connected to vMix. Then the camera additionally is connected to the studio monitor and I'm running the ISO recorder in the background with the P200 as well and the Bertok Studio. So um, this is just the same three sources we tested uh, standalone. Now in the mix with different applications and uh, different scenarios you can very easily max out a gigabit network. That's NDI from a bandwidth perspective. I hope I could show you how easy it is to get a video source onto the network, but I hope I could show you as well what problems might occur when you add NDI to an already existing network that is used on, in, in the office with, with a lot of uh, base level traffic noise. Um, and then if you add NDI on top of it, you could um, easily max it out and run into problems. So please make sure you check on your network very um, seriously and hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.